Hey OS11 Universe, it's Xander and welcome back to AEW Universe. We are kicking the show off with the best in the world, CM Punk. CM Punk finally going to speak tonight about why he has been after the Young Bucks these last few weeks. Going to finally speak on his current situation, I guess is the best way to put it, with Kenny Omega. So let's hear from CM Punk. What a time. Sorry. What a time I have had here. Since I've come back, I have had several matches, several opponents, some whom I've hated, some whom I've respected. I've faced people like Miro, I face people like Kenta, I face so many individuals now. But apparently in that time, I have now run afoul of a little boys treehouse club that's for a few years have been running around calling themselves the elite. And they see it fit to attack me. Little Kenny Omega, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, whatever. These three men have a problem with me, I'm not sure. But I can tell they're trying to boost their name off of me. Because up until the point where I walked through that door, Kenny Omega was a top guy. And now since I've gotten here, people won't even look in that direction. Kenny Omega lost his first night and he hasn't been looked the same ever since. And now he has tried to run afoul of me, thinking that I'm going to be an easier opponent than I am. He thinks I'm an old man. Same with the Bucks. They think I'm old. They think I'm run down. They think they can get back to the position of power they assume they had when this began. No. So I'll make you a deal. I'll face your little hardly boys at, at Winter is Coming with a partner of my choice. I know you're thinking, oh no, what's going to happen to me? And I guess you're, you're going to need a hero to figure that out. So, I'll face them with my partner. And after that best bout machine, I will happily kick your ass in too. Well, Punk, look out! Kenny Omega, the trigger! Omega clearly accepting the challenge on behalf of the Bucks. Coming after CM Punk. Kenny Omega takes him down. Hold on, that's... That's Chris Hero! Sam Punk said he would bring someone to help him... Help him fight the Bucks. And winner is coming next week in the knockout artist. Chris Hero laying it into Kenny Omega. Decks him with a forearm. Chris Hero is officially all elite. Well, we have some singles action coming up next. As here comes Limitless Keith Lee to the ring. Keith Lee is set to do battle with Miro next week at Winter is Coming. And so tonight, the Limitless One makes his way to the ring. Keith Lee making his way to the ring, and 
It's a small thing. I don't think anyone other than me will probably notice. Um, yeah, I don't know. You might notice. AEW Universe is going, and potentially even Impact Universe, are going to be moving to the PS4 instead of the PC starting very soon. And you might wonder why. Well, there's a simple answer for that. And that is because, holy hell, this game moves so much slower on PC than I thought it was going to when I used custom characters. Um, I cut out the load times, obviously. This match took 10 minutes to load. And Keith Lee, and it's only two custom characters involved. Imagine the main event when it's a six-man tag. Keith Lee making his way to the ring. The Limitless One has been on a roll in AEW. Has only suffered one loss so far, and that was in that, uh, that matchup against MJF where he was screwed by Wardlow, and he got his win back over Wardlow. But he takes on one half of the acclaimed. He takes on Anthony Bowens, who has Platinum Max in his corner. So Bowens makes his way to the ring. Anthony Bowens and Keith Lee, one-on-one -on -one here on Dynamite. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and also, uh, moving to PS4 means that AEW can have a huge roster instead of a limited roster. Because uh, there's... Because, you know, I'm having to share the 100 call limit between three shows right now. Keith Lee tries to come out of the gate with a crossbody. Bowens misses a, spr misses a moonsault. Keith Lee double axe handle, though. Keith Lee now answering back. Throws Bowens off the ropes. Pops him up. Good God. Keith Lee doing what no ordinary man should be able to do. Especially not a man of his size. Floors him with one punch as well does Keith. And now Keith Lee getting him back up to his feet. There's another chop. Keith Lee knocking him back. Keith Lee with Anthony Bowens. Throws him off the top rope. They collide again. Bowens with a right hook turns Keith around. Anthony Bowens punches him in the back. And now Bowens with a right hook. It's been a real game of a one-upsmanship between Keith and Miro these last few weeks. Seeing who can get wins quicker. We've seen them going head-to-head -head with a bunch of guys that are on par with their sizes. But the only other guys on par with their sizes are not in AEW Universe anymore. So Keith Lee now gets Anthony Bowens back up. Knocks him back with a right hook. Throwing him off the ropes. Keith Lee scoops him up. Power slam. Drives him into the mat. And now Keith gets him back up to his feet. Right hook connects. Kicks him in the ribs. No. Gets caught with a kick of his own. Anthony Bowens decking Keith Lee with a clothesline. And now Bowens getting Keith back up to his feet. Anthony Bowens went for a flying punch. Keith Lee with a double chop. Taking him down now. And Keith pulls him back up to his feet. Keith gets him up. Keith Lee. Big Bang catastrophe. One. Two. Three. And that is a win for Keith Lee. A quick and dominant win for Keith Lee. Keith Lee dodged that leaping Superman punch from Anthony Bowens. And in the end, Keith Lee with a big bang catastrophe put down Anthony Bowens. Your winner, Limitless, Keith Lee. Big win for Keith. We got plenty more coming up, though. Keith Lee gets the win. Let's move on to our next part of AEW Dynamite. I'm a man who has nightmares that I have preached of before, but I now come to you with a question. Why should I not hate my enemies. If I love them, does that not place me at their mercy? Blessed are the destroyers 
of false hope, for they are the true messiahs, cursed are the adorers, for they are shorn sheep. We all have our dark secrets, our sins of our past things we best keep to ourselves. I, though, I am comfortable in my secrets. Next week, I am ready to share my deepest, darkest secret with the whole world. But until then, AEW will fade to black. We're going to move to the tag team action up next, ladies and gents. As here comes the woman who challenges for the AEW Women's World Championship next week at Winter is Coming. Here comes Athena. Athena is here. She has been on a roll in AEW since her arrival a few weeks ago. She is part of the reason. She is the first woman and only woman in LS11 Universe to have pinned Dr. Britt Baker DMD. And next week, she looks to make history repeat itself and become AEW Women's World Champion. So Athena makes her way to the ring tonight. Will the DMD's title reign, the longest title reign in the AEW Universe, be eclipsed in just a few nights' time? We're going to find out soon. But she teams up with the woman that helped her defeat Ruby, or de helped her defeat Dr. Britt Baker very recently, and that is the runaway Ruby Soho. Ruby Soho marching to the ring. The Runaway. Ruby Soho, another woman that many people believed was going to be the one to defeat Dr. Britt Baker DMD back at full gear. She had her chance. She came up short. Ruby Soho makes her way to the ring. Tonight, these two team up to take on the team of Rebel, not Reba. I thought that I had them as a tag team, so we will just do this. And Jamie Hayter. So Jamie Hayter and Rebel making their way to the ring. The lackeys of Dr. Britt Baker DMD. So it is Hayter and Rebel versus Athena and Soho in some tag team action. Our second bit of action tonight. So without any further ado, it is Rebel and Athena starting it off. Here we go. Athena goes for a leg sweep, but Rebel gets out of the way and kicks her in the back. Rebel goes for a right hook countered. Athena grabs her now, and Athena throws her off the ropes. Swings around into a neck breaker. Knocks her back. There's a roundhouse kick. Into an elbow strike. Into a super kick. And that's a tag to Ruby Soho. Soho hits the ropes into an elbow to the back. Down goes Rebel. And now Soho getting her back to her feet. Ruby Soho kicks her in the ribs. There's another kick. There's a chop. Grabs onto her. Throws her off the ropes. And drop to hold from Soho who walks across the back. You know, you're supposed to hurt. That actually might be very therapeutic. Trust me. Knee into the ribs though from Rebel. And now Rebel grabs onto Ruby Soho. Puts her into the ropes. 
Rebel with a punch in the back. And Soho gets punched again. Down she goes. Rebel now makes the tag to Jamie Hader. Hader is in. Soho with a right hook. Now Ruby Soho with a forearm strike. Grabs onto her. Ruby Soho sends her off the rope. Soho with a drop kick. Takes her down. And now Soho getting Rebel back up to... Or getting Jamie Hader back up to her feet. Ruby Soho throws her off the ropes. Drop toe hold. And now she's going to run across the back of Jamie Hader. Turns around. Gets caught. Hader with Soho. Throws her into the corner. The runaway could be in some trouble here. She gets grabbed. Shoulder block. And again, Jamie Hader slamming her shoulder into the ribs of Ruby Soho, who tries to crawl towards Athena but gets her legs stomped out from under. She gets dropped again now. And Jamie Hader standing tall. Jamie Hader stands over Soho, getting her back up to her feet now. Jamie Hader goes for a punch. Soho counters. Ruby Soho rolls her through into a cover. One. No. Oh, what a forearm from Jamie Hader. Hader, one, no, kick out from Ruby Soho. Hader flooring Soho with that punch there. Goes for another one, Soho out of the way into an elbow strike. And now Ruby Soho getting her up to her feet. Ruby Soho throws Hader into the corner. Off the turnbuckle she goes into a tag to Athena. And now Athena... Runs into the ring. Rebel gets the hot tag. Athena wipes out Jamie Hayter. Big forearm strike to Rebel. Kicks her in the ribs now. Oh, but Hayter with a knee strike. Takes a cheap shot. And Athena tries to strike back, but Jamie Hayter gets saved by Rebel. Oh, double drop kicks attempt from both women there. And now Rebel grabs onto her and Rebel. Northern Lights takes her down. Athena goes down. Rebel. Rebel Stoyer now slams her. Head first into the mat. Into a cover now from Rebel. One. No. Athena kicks out. And Athena staggering. Rebel grabs her. And Rebel. Forearm strike. Takes down Athena. Rebel now getting Athena back up to her feet. Rebel goes for a kick. And Athena swings her around. Goes for a leg sweep. Rebel went for a punch. Athena got out of the way. And now Athena... Getting Rebel back up to her feet. Athena with a spinning wheel kick. Knee into the ribs. Big roundhouse kick. Takes out Jamie Hayter. And now, Athena gonna look to end this matchup with Eclipse. One, two, three. Athena and Ruby Soho are your winners. A big win for these two women tonight. Ruby Soho and Athena getting the win. That eclipse, my god, it's one of my favorite finishers in the world. A big win for these two tonight. Another big win in tag team action for both of them. We got plenty more coming up though, ladies and gents. We're going to move on into the next bit of action on AEW Dynamite. The TNT Champion is in action up next. You have no idea how nice it is loading a matchup between two in-game characters on one of these shows. But ladies and gentlemen, we got some singles action up next as the TNT champion Buddy Matthews is going to be in action. He's going to take on a teammate of his opponent next week. Next week at Winter is Coming, Buddy Matthews will defend the TNT title against Adam Cole, baby. So the best kept secret about to make his way to the ring. Eventually. Maybe. Possibly. Any day now. He's a man of suspense, if you haven't noticed yet.
Here he comes. Buddy Matthews, the TNT champion. The TNT champion making his way to the ring. So Buddy Matthews prepares for his title defense next week against Adam Cole. And he looks to do that tonight by going head to head with the with one member of the undisputed elite. So Buddy Matthews, the best kept secret, has made his way to the ring. He goes head to head with, as I said, a member of the Undisputed Elite. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega are a little, a little preoccupied with CM Punk and Chris Hero. So that has left Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly alone. As here comes Kyle O'Reilly to the ring. One half of Red Dragon, one member of the Undisputed Elite. So Kyle O'Reilly makes his way to the ring. So O'Reilly getting a big singles opportunity tonight. So it's Kyle O'Reilly and Buddy Matthews, somehow a first time ever match in the LS11 universe. These two have never crossed paths before. In fact, AEW is the first time they've been on the same brand together. So here we go. Buddy Matthews comes out of the gate, goes for a B trigger. O'Reilly caught him. Kyle puts him in the corner now. Kyle O'Reilly with a kick to the knee. And now O'Reilly kicks him in the head, coming out the ropes. And O'Reilly, huge kick to the head of Buddy Matthews. And another kick as well for good measure. Buddy Matthews grabs the leg and sweeps the leg of Kyle O'Reilly. Matthews now getting him up to his feet. And Buddy Matthews, right hand. And again, forearm strike sends him crashing into the mat. And now Buddy Matthews stalking O'Reilly. Matthews grabs him into a backslide. Same way he beat Cody Rhodes a few weeks ago. No. Kyle O'Reilly now with a kick. And another Goes for another. Matthews takes up the knee. Rolling forearm. Decking Kyle O'Reilly again. And now Matthews gets him up to his feet. Buddy Matthews throws him across the ring and into the corner. No. Swings him around. Springboards over. Kicks him in the head. Buddy Matthews, the best kept secret. Hops off the ring. Ring Aaron gets back into the ring. Throws him into the corner. Buddy Matthews. Thrown into the corner now. No countered. And Matthews, B-Trigger! The B-Trigger connects! And now Buddy getting him up to his feet. Right hook connects again. And Buddy Matthews, go in for a forearm. Kyle O'Reilly caught him. Kyle O'Reilly, back body drop. Takes him down. There's another kick. He goes down again. No, Matthews rolls through. Forearm strike. Forearm, no, gets caught. And now Matthews gets caught by O'Reilly, who throws him overhead. And now Kyle O'Reilly grabs onto Matthews and pulls him in. Forearm strike 
decking him. And now Matthew staggers. There's a kick from O'Reilly. Knocks him into the ropes. And Kyle O'Reilly ties the arm up of Buddy Matthews. Ties the arm up. Down goes Buddy. Cover by O'Reilly. One, no. Kick out from the TNT champion. And now Kyle with another kick. Kyle O'Reilly pulls him in. And O'Reilly into a... Oh, a forearm to the back of the head. Thought he was going for a neck breaker. Takes out the leg as well. Matthews kicks him in the head now. Now Buddy Matthews hits the ropes. Oh, what a forearm. Got a big run up on that one as well. And now he grabs O'Reilly. Goes for a right hook. O'Reilly out of the way. There's a slap. Kyle O'Reilly goes for a roundhouse. Dropping Buddy Matthews. And now Matthews getting tied up. O'Reilly falls back and takes out the knee. Kyle O'Reilly trying to solve up the knee. Perhaps looking for a knee bar. Matthews gets rolled through. O'Reilly. Roundhouse kick to Buddy Matthews. Takes him off his feet. And now Matthews gets up and sweeps the leg. Buddy Matthews getting him back up to his feet. Matthews, right hook into a clothesline. And another. Buddy Matthews, drop kick. Matthews now getting him up to his feet. And Buddy Matthews ducks it. Dumps him out of the ring. Matthews flies up to the top rope. Matthews. Oh, went for the elbow. Nobody home. Throws him back in the ring now. O'Reilly pulling the arm. Kyle O'Reilly drops down into the corner. O'Reilly saying, come on, is that all you got? Kyle O'Reilly looked for a big upset over the TNT champion here. Forearm strike, dropping him. And now O'Reilly with another kick, goes for another. Matthews swats him out of the way. Buddy Matthews drop kicks him. Into a big bicycle kick now from Matthews. Into another. And a B trigger attempt, but O'Reilly catches him. And Kyle O'Reilly chasing the dragon. O'Reilly looking for the big win over the best kept secret. An upset over the TNT champion. One, two, no. And now Matthews staggering. Kyle O'Reilly gets caught with an knee strike. Matthews gets kicked. Elbow to the knee. Buddy Matthews. B trigger. Gets him up to his feet now. Buddy Matthews, right hand into. Messiah Slayer. One, two, three. Buddy Matthews gets the win over Kyle O'Reilly. The best kept secret remains undefeated in singles action in AEW. Will he be able to defeat Adam Cole next week and retain his TNT championship? We are seven days from finding out. A big win for Buddy Matthews, nonetheless. The TNT champion gets the win. We got more coming up. John Moxley in action up next, ladies and gentlemen. We moving to some singles action up next. As here comes a quite obviously fan favorite. Nobody hates him. Beloved by all. Sammy Guevara is here. God, you guys turned on him fast. I can't say anything. So did I. 
Sammy Guevara makes his way to the ring. He has the unfortunate pleasure of facing John Moxley after Moxley was laid out by Sammy Callahan last week. Moxley will now face Callahan one on one at Winner is Coming next week, if you haven't figured that out yet. Standard match, not no DQ. Almost as if we're building to that. So Sammy Guevara is here. Here he comes. John Moxley. Oh God, he's not wasting time. Oh God, he's barreling to the ring. Moxley barrels to the ring and wipes out Guevara. John Moxley was screwed out of becoming number one contender of the AEW title last week and he's taking that out on Sammy Guevara right now. Moxley, well, Guevara sweeps the leg. Sammy Guevara now getting him back up to his feet. Sammy Guevara goes for a kick. John Moxley kicks at the knee. And now Moxley grabs Guevara into a gut wrench again on the outside. Guevara bangs into the steps. John Moxley is a man possessed right now. Throws Guevara back into the ring. Moxley scoots onto his feet. And Moxley. Picks him up and slams him into the mat with a perfect plex. And John Mox with a knee strike. Gets him in the head, does the former TNT champion. Now an elbow to Guevara as well. John Moxley taking down Sammy. And Moxley with another clothesline sends him out of the ring. John Moxley now grabbing Sammy Guevara. John Moxley with Guevara. Into the announce table. Moxley is just done. Elbow off the apron. Note to self, never piss off John Moxley. And that's a good idea to have in life is not to not to upset this man. Because look what he's doing to Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara, who's not even he's not even the source of Moxley's issues. Guevara didn't even do anything. Guevara just existed this time. This time. I get it. Guevara is aggravating as hell, but I don't even think he deserves this. Moxley. Paradigm shift. One. Two. Three. Good God. John Moxley just destroyed Sammy Guevara. Oh no, Moxley going out of the ring now. Well, he can't find he can't find Callahan's baseball bat, so he's going for a kendo stick. Oh god, what's John Moxley gonna say now? In case you missed it, <clears throat> I was screwed last week. I was this close. This close to once again getting my opportunity at the AEW Championship win. Sammy Callahan attacked me. Now, 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 I know some of you may be new wrestling fans. I know some of you may not know this, but in order to understand what happened last week, you need to understand what happened a decade and a half ago. On December 30th, 2006, 
I was living in Cincinnati, Ohio, my hometown. I was wrestling. And it was a good shit developmental organization known as the Heartland Wrestling Association. I was there with Sammy Callahan, and I took Sammy under my wing for a time. Things fell out, and I went out there one night, and I kicked Sammy's ass for ten minutes and pinned him with my foot on his chest. This started, I think, a new version of Sammy Callahan. Cut to four years after that. Combat Zone Wrestling. Swinging for the Fences 2010. October 4th. And I'm in the semi-main event defending the CZW World Championship against Sammy Callahan. And I'm going to give him this. He came closer to beating me than he did the first time. But I won anyway. Not too long after that, I was signed. I went to make my money, right? To join brotherhoods, to win world titles. Sammy would toil in smaller organizations. He would get signed. He would start turning off lights. He would pretend to be some hacker. It was... It was honestly pathetic. But I gained a new respect for him in recent years because he came out and he was him. He was hardcore like I always knew he was. <clears throat> what he would do in that ring, he was brutal. And I'm not going to lie. I thought I would see him again. But I thought he wouldn't be a sniveling coward about it. I thought he'd come out here and shake my hand and say, John, I think I can beat you. But no, he has to turn off the lights. He has to hit people with bats. He has to be a taunting little man as I take out the, anno the most annoying prick in this company. All right. You want to pick a fight with me, Sammy? Well, you got it. When I'm done with you, you are going to be a bloody heap. Your teeth are going to be on the floor, and you're going to be crying back to a bingo hall. When I am done with Sammy Callahan, he will be a dead man walking. When I am done with you, Sammy, you're going to go back to the little bitch you were in 2006. See you at winter is coming. Moxley has said what he wants to say to Callahan, and now on the outside, paradigm shift again to Guevara. Sammy Callahan, be careful what you wish for. Main event up next. Ugh, it's time for the main event. But there are custom titles that have to make their way to the ring, so it's going to be a minute. For you guys, it's only going to be a minute. For me, I've been here for 30. Definitely going out and buying 2K22 on PS4 tomorrow. So it is time for the main event, ladies and gentlemen. This big six-man tag team action. Big six-man tag team matchup. It's going to send us off towards the big Winter is Coming special just in seven days' time. We will, where we're going to see the big rematch between MJF and Darby Allen for the AEW World Championship. The AEW tag titles will be on the line between FTR and Jurassic Express. We will see Athena challenge Dr. Britt Baker DMD for the Women's Championship. Adam Cole challenges Buddy Matthews for the TNT title. Sammy Callahan versus John Moxley and Keith Lee versus Miro. What a show it's going to be next week. 
But here come the AEW Tag Team Champions. The team of Cash Wheeler and Dax Harwood. F-T-R. Making their way to the ring. What does F-T-R stand for? It stands for whatever you want it to stand for, man. So, FTR making their way to the ring. They, of course, team up with M. J. F. Whose theme isn't playing for some reason. But as long as I remember to put it in there, shout outs to this wolf once again. The former AEW World Champion making his way to the ring. He gets his big opportunity for his world title rematch in just seven days. And he has been promising that he is going to regain the AEW world title. So MJFTR team up in the main event tonight. So here comes Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus who were taken out by FTR back at full gear and had their tag team title opportunity taken away from them by FTR. They're finally going to get their opportunity to win those tag titles. So Jurassic Express make their way to the ring. They team up. Finally, with the AEW World Champion. As we wait here, be sure, if you didn't see the LS11 Wrestling Federation announcement yesterday, be sure to upload your characters to WWE 2K22 Community Creations with the LS11 Universe hashtag. You will get your chance to appear in the LS11 Wrestling Federation in July. So, in what will be his first match since becoming AEW World Champion, we're going to be seeing Darby Allen get a warm-up before his title defense next week. Here he comes. AEW title around his waist, there is Darby Allen. Darby Allen and Jurassic Express teaming up to take on MJFTR tonight in the main event. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. I'm looking forward to this one personally. Seeing what Darby can do now that he's the AEW World Champion. Really looking forward to his rematch with MJF next week as well. That's going to be that's going to be a big matchup. Remember. Winter is Coming will be a premiere next week as well, premiering at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as it is Dax Harwood and Jungle Boy Jack Perry starting us off. Here we go. And Jungle Boy immediately into a Hurricane Rana on Dax. Into a drop kick as well. Getting him back up to his feet now is Jungle Boy, and Jungle Boy with a kick to the ribs. 
Dax grabs onto him now, and Dax with a kick to the ribs. Dax Harwood, double underhook into a power bomb, takes him down. He grabs Jungle Boy, and Jungle Boy with an elbow strike, knocking him back. Jungle Boy ends a Gurry staggering Harwood, and another for good measure. Runs in, tries to grab him now. Harwood counters. Harwood snap mare takes him down, comes off the ropes, kicks him in the side of the head. Down goes Jungle Boy again. And now Jungle Boy getting picked back up to his feet by Harwood. Harwood goes for a kick. Jungle Boy swings him around into another Enzigari. Staggers him. He grabs onto him. Well, Dax gets him up for a power bomb. Hurricane Rana covered by Jungle Boy. And no kick out from Dax. As now, Jungle Boy splashes onto the back of Dax Harwood. That one had that one had to hurt. Tag made, and here comes the champ. Darby Allen is in. Darby Allen, oh, runs right into a knee from Cash Wheeler. So he answers back by trying to attack him. Dax grabs him. Dax with a knee into the back takes down Darby. Dax Harwood now with a stomp to the arm of Darby Allen. Dax now grabbing Darby, picking him back up to his feet. Dax Harwood with a chop right hand, and again shoving him into the corner. Tag made, now MJF comes in. Oh, and look at this. An assisted leg drop from Dax and MJF, but oh, MJF! Now he's gotten, now he's made the, he used the double-edged sword and put himself in a mix where Darby is in. And to a neck breaker though, goes Darby Allen. MJF flipping off the crowd now, and Darby looks to capitalize. Cover. One, no. And Darby with the Enziguri, knocking MJF into the corner that Max doesn't want to be in. Darby. Firing away now, knocking back MJF. Down he goes. Darby grabbing MJF back up to his feet. Darby Allen now with MJF off the ropes. They collide. Darby with a kick now puts him in the corner. Darby, tag made. In comes Jungle Boy. And now Jungle Boy and Darby sending MJF off the ropes into a double back body drop. MJF goes down. MJF and Jungle Boy have some history, but they're not going to get to relive it now because Dax has been tagged in. Jungle Boy tries to dive onto him. And now Dax grabs Jungle Boy into a spine buster. Oh, into a reverse. Figure four. Reverse figure four is in. Luchasaurus making the save. And now Cash wiping out the dinosaur. No, Darby making the save for him for Jungle Boy. Oh, and Dax gets, Jung gets Darby up on his shoulders. Out of the ring goes Luchasaurus. And now Dax, no, Darby punches him in the face. As now Jungle Boy staggering back to his feet. Dax grabs onto him and Dax Harwood now with Darby or with Jungle Boy taking it towards the corner. Knocking him back now is Jungle Boy. He knocks back Dax. Jungle Boy and Zaguri. Oh, and he gets caught into a back body drop. And now MJF is tagged in. MJF is in. Oh, went for a kick. Jungle Boy sweeps the leg of MJF. Jungle Boy now getting MJF back up to his feet. Kicks him in the ribs. Jungle Boy. Big cutter. Cover. One. Two. MJF kicked out. MJF kicked out. And now Jungle Boy throws him off the turnbuckle. Here comes the dinosaur. Luchasaurus is in. Oh, but MJF gets a cheap shot in MJF. Oh, a crossroads. Tag made the cash. MJF took a cheap shot and hit the crossroads. Remember, Cody was a big part of MJF's MJF being brought into AEW. And now Cash dragging Luchasaurus away from the ropes into a cover. Cash, no kick out from the dinosaur. And Cash with another kick. Luchasaurus staggers. Cash punches him in the back now. Throws Luchasaurus out of the ring. 
Cash getting fired up now. Cash Wheeler. Big knee strike to the arm. Went for right hand counter by Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus with a kick. And now Luchasaurus. Throwing Cash into the ring post. Knocks him into the rear. Ring apron now. Big knee strike from the dinosaur. Luchasaurus throws him into the ring post. Oh, Cash with a counter now. And Cash. Oh, Luchasaurus is looking to fly now. And Cash wants nothing to do with it. Went for a clothesline. Cash out of the way. Now Cash with Luchasaurus. Taking him towards the corner of MJFTR. Tag made. Dax is in. Dax and Cash. Oh, look at this. They're going to tie up the legs. They're going to tie up the legs of Luchasaurus. And they kick out the knee. Into a cover now. One, no. And now Dax. Knee into the back of the neck of, of Luchasaurus. Luchasaurus now getting picked back up to his feet. Dax scoops him up on his shoulders. Dax Harwood plants him into the mat. Harwood taking him down. And now Luchasaurus, well, Darby and Darby and Jack wanted the tag, but a counter now by Luchasaurus. And Luchasaurus throws Dax in the corner, grabs Cash. Knee strike to Cash, wipes him out. Grabs Dax. No, Dax fights out of the choke slam. And power bomb from Harwood, but Luchasaurus. Too damn big is in the ropes. Well, went for a headbutt. Dax rakes the eyes of the dinosaur. And now Dax clothesline. Oh, double tag. Jungle Boy and MJF are in. Hurricane Run and MJF takes out Dax into another Hurricane Runner. Went for a double axe handle. MJF out of the way. MJF grabs him. Salt of the Earth. MJF locks in Salt of the Earth on Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy manages to roll out of it this time. Jungle Boy twists the neck of MJF. And now Jungle Boy into the snare. Could he make MJF tap out? No, Dax makes the save. As Cash wipes out the champ. And now Jungle Boy saving Darby Allen and wiping out Cash Wheeler. As Cash hightails it back to his own corner. Oh, double tag. Darby and Cash in now. Darby with a clothesline. Oh, Darby wipes out Dax, but Cash with a drop kick to Darby Allen. Darby rolls out of the ring now. They lock up. Cash managed to catch the champ. Darby rolls out of it now, and Darby with a German suplex. Takes down Cash Wheeler. Darby Allen now getting Cash back up to his feet. Went for a spinning wheel kick. Cash back to his feet. Cash Wheeler now grabs onto Allen. Cash Wheeler goes for another suplex. Darby slips out of it again. And Darby drop kicks him into the corner. Went for a splash. Cash out of the way. Cash goes for a right hand. Darby counters. Darby floors him. Darby, no, MJF with the right hook. Takes him down. And now Darby with a running swanton to the back. Now Darby targeting Cash. Darby went for the wheel kick. Cash has that wheel kick well scouted at this point. Cash goes for a right hook. Darby clotheslines him. Darby breaks it up. Try... MJF wanted the tag. Darby's going up high. Darby Allen pushed off the top rope by Dax. 
And Dormy answers back by taking him out. But MJF with an knee strike. Cash, no. Darby. Stunner. Down goes MJF. Darby now counters Cash. Darby. Drives him into the mat. Cover. One. Two. Thir no. Saved last second by Dax. And now Darby looking for the float over. Back into another stunner. One. Two. MJF saves this one. MJF making the save. And Darby is pissed about it. Wipes out Max. And now Darby stalking Cash. Double axe handle. Darby Allen is on fire right now. But FTR and MJF are just working well together to make sure that Darby can't pin Cash here. Back body drop. Down goes Darby. Tag made. MJF is back in. MJF picking him back up to his feet. Now MJF goes for a chop from Darby. Puts him back in the corner. Tag made. Now Dax is back in. Oh, Darby and Darby and Luchasaurus with a bit of a miscommunication. Luchasaurus with a right hand now to Dax Harwood. Punches him now and Luchasaurus. Big kick. Takes down Dax. One. Two. No. Oh, and Jungle Boy. Takes out MJF. Down goes Cash. And Dax is going for the ride. No, he counters the choke slam. There's a roundhouse kick. One. Two. Three. Jurassic Express and Darby Allen are your winners. What a matchup that was. That roundhouse kick from Luchasaurus knocked him out cold in the end. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching Dynamite tonight. I will see you all very soon for Impact, where I think we'll be back on 2K22 on PS4 because I that took way too long to load. Until next time, I've been Xander, and that was Universe.